Brass instruments are unique in the uh, standard collection of instruments in the sense that uh, they're the only family of instruments for which the uh, musician themselves is the one making the sound. For brass musicians, the sound that comes through the instrument is that of the lips buzzing. The mouthpiece serves to focus that sound. And then the instrument, once introduced, serves to um, amplify the sound, cancel out overtones, and fill out um, the tone. Because of that, it's critically important that we set up the aperture in such a way that air can move freely, that tension is limited, uh, and that the lips can be allowed um, to vibrate fully. The key principles behind that are two things. When we look at the embouchure, the middle of it stays soft and fleshy. The corners are firm, so the control comes from this position here. As we introduce the mouthpiece in as a tool for um, clarifying our sound, we want to pay attention to a couple of things. One, that by introducing the mouthpiece, we don't introduce tension. There is a tendency to take the mouthpiece and smush it into the face. Which inhibits the vibration of the top and bottom lips. To prevent that, when playing the mouthpiece, hold it just between two fingers, uh, or between, I should say, finger and uh, first finger and thumb, uh, to minimize the risk of putting extra pressure on. Second, as the mouthpiece is placed on the embouchure, we want to make sure that we're not providing any additional pressure uh, to the face. So it should be set rather than shoved in. Third, we want to make sure that once the embouchure, or once we set the embouchure, the mouth. Uh, and place the mouthpiece, we don't do additional adjustment. It's very common to see beginning uh, brass players set the mouthpiece and then scrunch it around until it feels right. Um, we want to make sure that setting the embouchure is always first and foremost uh, something that's done as far as a relaxed open position that the mouthpiece is just taking what's already present and amplifying it. So as we set the mouthpiece, we're going to start by doing um, our hum exercise. Um, so the process is going to work like this. You go hum. Now you'll notice that in this case, I breathe through my nose. Typically, as uh, brass musicians, or as all musicians, we all breathe through our mouth. It allows for a fuller intake of air. Uh, but for the very first time that we introduce the mouthpiece, have the students breathe through the nose so they don't reset their aperture that they've just built. A um, couple other things to be cognizant of. 